Which I have been waiting for all my life! Really, Turkey Man? Anyways, let's get to the top stories today! Spring may have sprung in Central and Western Canada, but winter isn't quite through with punishing the country's east coast. Environment Canada says people in the Maritimes can expect up to 40 centimeters of snow as a blizzard sweeps across the region today and tomorrow. Prince Edward Island, New Brunswick, and Nova Scotia are expected to take the brunt of the snow, while Newfoundland and Labrador is expected to face about 10 to 20 centimeters. Several winter storm and blizzard warnings have been issued by Environment Canada for this region. <laughs> Confusion of the death toll. It is due largely to a near total communications blackout across the country. With power lines and four separate stands, officials in the capital had no way of knowing what was discovered. The damage was on the out of hours, when a storm, storm scored a direct hit. They are working as hard as they can. Right now, a total of eight people have died as a result of this storm. Thousands of demonstrators gathered across the country yesterday to rally against the Conservative government's proposed anti-terror legislation, which seeks to expand the powers of police and spy agencies. The government, which introduced Bill C-51 in January, insists it provides law enforcement authorities with the vital tools needed to stamp out terror plots before they unfold. Talking Tom and Ben News. Talking TV's music only channel is coming fast. Don't worry, you still have time to choose what songs and artists you would like us to play. Send the name of the song and or artist you would like us to play. Your name, address, and postal code to Talking TV, 380 McTilligan Street, Talking City, Outfit 7, D9LM2R, or you can submit on our website, www.outfit7.com. Remember, the deadline is April 11th, so hurry up! Three male teens from Britain who reached Turkey before being deported to the UK and arrested are believed to be the latest examples of a worrying threat. The rising number of young women seem to travel to Syria to extraordinary extremists there. The three suspects were being questioned at a central London police station after their alleged bid to get to Syria, coming soon after three British schoolgirls managed to elude authorities and get to Syria last month. The girls are believed by police to have joined Islamic State militants in their self-declared counterfeit in parts of Syria and Iraq.
music only channel is coming fast. Don't worry, you still have time to choose what songs and artists you would like us to play. Send the name of the song and or artist you would like us to play. Your name, address and postal code to Talking TV, 380 McTilligan Street, Talking City, Outfit 7, D9LM2R. Or you can submit on our website, www.outfit7.com. Remember, the deadline is April 11th, so hurry up. Welcome back. Two victims of a mass killing at a house party in Calgary last year are being honored during the 2015 June Awards festivities. Zachariah Raphael, 21, and Josh Hunter, 23, were featured as part of an in-memoriam segment at a gala on Saturday night. The two Calgary men were in the up-and-coming rock band Zachariah and the Prophets. The group had released an EP entitled Good Night at Cars, Just Flowers and a Pair of Zest. Well, that does it for this edition of Talking Talk About Men News. Until we see you again.